Welcome to Las Vegas Martin Kung Fu Channel. This is Sifu JJ. Today video, which weapon is the best for self defense on street? Let's go. When I say best for self defense means on street in real life. So two things we need to think about: how to carry them on real life, and the second thing, how effective they are. Let's find out in this video. Let's talk about how effective they are. Let's do one thing at a time. The first one is the pull down big sword. You say they have the blade and this part is very dangerous. You can cut by this way, but I also very long have this part for the front part, the blade to cut either way. Also, you can use this part to attack. And this part also can be blocking an attack. The same thing, you can block by the blade and you come back with this part and you go attack. The spear, actually double sided spear. For the spear, lan is blocking and blocking an attack. Lan, na, ja. Also you can to attack both parts like a staff. To attack in front, also you can stop this side and blocking, attack this side. And blocking, and blocking, and attack. And Attack. So the next one is the short wood stick. So easy to control and it's easier on your hand. You can to make flowers. You can attack this way, attack this way, flower and you attack. You can but really just shoot down and mm, mm, swing. And that is very convenient. What do you think? Let's go the next one. The fun. As you can see from the kung fu movies, they have the metal part and this part they have a little knife. Right, this part like metal, they can really attack to there, but in real life we don't do that. Also effective, so just open and this is part that can be attacked even this is soft, right? But also you can to make this part be attacked. And also you can use this part. This one can be locked by neck, by your hand. So this can be with people's neck, right? This also can lock people's arm by both hands. Let's go the next one. This is the brass sword. Why we call this a brass sword? Because the blade is one side, like the outside this way. So this side can ready to attack, to cut. And this is a dangerous part, but this part is safe. So mostly you can around your neck and go cut. And you can around your neck come back, you can cut. But this part is blocking an attack. And blocking an attack. Also, you can go flower and go attack. The set way. And also this part is the southern style. You can really this can be around your hand. You can cut by this way and you can go around house kick and cut. This back. one is called straight sword. The straight sword they have both sides of the blade. So this is dangerous because you can cut outside, also inside, also the front part. So very useful, dangerous weapon, the straight sword. So you can attack by this way, and then you can change to the side, attack by this way, the handle part. And also you can cut this way, and then you can go yun jian, and come back, stop, like this. Way. Blocking by flopper, and then you can attack this side, and you can turn back, and blocking, and cut, cut, straight, and attack, attack. Very cool weapon, so let's go the next one. Three sectional stuff. I just made this one. This is three parts of stuff. You can hold both parts. And you can blocking and you can attack by this one. A blocking and attack by this one. Or you can go straight. You can blocking this side, this side, attack. And you can blocking down and you can attack by this. Also, you can holding this part. You can holding this part. So this one can be blocking by just swing like this. And you can turn on. You can attack. Also by this part, right? And also you can like blocking this way, and then you can go up and jump, or get up and jump with like this and turn around to the swing. So this is very useful and powerful weapon. One last thing you can use is just hold it one part, right? This way you can go long distance, you go make a strong swing. Okay, great. Let's do the last one. The last one is the nine 
part of a qin wei. For this one, I think it's so easy to carry because once you put them together in your hand, this is nothing. You can't see this at all. You can put it in your hand, in your pocket, right? When you attack, you just go boom. You throw it. This part is all open. And after, you can swing down. You can swing down as a flower, like this, like this, like this, like this, and you can turn it, right? Of course, as a chin, they can use many ways. It's also dangerous. So you can't around the night and go this way. Around there arm, you can pull and then you can punch and punch and you can do everything like a rope. What do you think, my friend? Which weapon is most effective? So leave comment below, let me know. Let's go to the next part, how to carry them on street and which one is the best for self-defense on street. Wow. So when we talk about the best for self-defense with a Kung Fu weapon on street, either you can hold on your hand so not look weird and also you can think about to put in your bag so you can quick to take out and for self-defense, right? The big sword, pull down. If I carry this on the street, either this way or this way, I walk on street, do you think this is right? I don't think so. So the policeman will be stop me or just cut me in the jail. So no, the spear and this is not appropriate and definitely not gonna be work too. So let's go next. This is sword. I hold really precise. I walk on the street. Everybody got a cigar and they call police and got trouble. No. As well for the street sword. Even I carry on the bike. Get out and then you go fight. Still not. This is short wood stick. I cannot fold it in my bike, but uh, you know, still can carry. It's not a bike. So once you need it, you just got hold it and kick out. And you can do a self defense. I think this can be work, but not the bike. Three sectional. So you can put your bike the same thing like the short wood stick. You can put the out, and then you can ready with the bike. Da -da 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 -da. So you can use for bike. It's a very effective weapon. I don't think easier to carry and then to take out. All right, fun. So if I holding a fun on the straver, I think this is possible. This is good, right? Chin whip. So this one you can put it in your pocket or in your hand. You don't even really say. So you can wait it through and then you go attack. Look like this also is not bad choice. All right, the last one is a stick. This is not the short stick, it's not the tall long stick. Personally, I think this one is the most useful for self-defense. This one can be like hiking stick or just to help you walking easier, right? This is not look weird. This one I think is very useful. So you walk on the street, if you meet someone, this one can be really help you to a self-defense. He's blocking and I go attack and it's to uh, switch either side is very useful. Go blocking, I go attack. A blocking, I go attack. You go attack this way, and you go attack this way. Attack by this way, the blocking this way, you go boom, boom, boom. What do you think, my friend? Also, the other two, the chin whip and also the fun, easier to carry, also can be self defense on street. Which one you like the most? Which one is most effective? So, leave your comment below and let me know. I see you in the next video, and um, bye bye.